Is this the next huge blockchain in crypto? What's going on guys? Welcome back to Allcoin Chief where we talk about crypto and blockchain. If you don't want to miss any crypto gems for this bull run, make sure you click the subscribe button now. Today's focus will be on Injective. Injective is a native blockchain, the blockchain built for finance as they claim. Built and use the best Web3 applications on Injective, the fastest layer one blockchain, shaping the future of finance. And as you can see, the backing of Injective is very impressive with the likes of Binance, Pantera, Jump, and a popular billionaire, Mark Cuban. And right on their homepage, they are sharing some analytics for the blockchain itself with the amount of blocks produced on-chain transactions which are over 190 million at the time of creating this video and the block time of just over one second. So in this video, we'll be talking about Injective in depth when it comes to the technology stack and what you can expect from Injective in the short, medium and long-term future. So as we said, Injective is a native blockchain. It allows the developers to create best-in-class financial apps on their blockchain. What does it mean? Well, if you are familiar with the likes of Ethereum, for example, people can build apps, so-called dApps, on Ethereum. These are projects built on Ethereum blockchain. It's exactly the same when it comes to Injective. This is a native blockchain that allows people to build on top of it. And by having a technology that can support fast transactions and cheap transactions, this is one of the most interesting plays when it comes to layer ones, short, medium, and long term. They also have an extensive ecosystem of apps and dApps that are supporting this blockchain. It's interoperable, which means that it can connect to other blockchains in a very easy fashion and we'll have a look at the bridge later in the video. But as you can see, blockchains that are supporting uh, the interoperability, so connecting to, to each other in a simple manner, are BNB Chain, Cosmos, Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, and many, many more. So Injective also has a native token, and that native token has been doing very well in the past few weeks and it's currently sitting at just over 400 million market cap. The circulating supply is 80 million with a max supply of 100 million, which makes this a very interesting play for this upcoming bull run. So if we have a look at the entire chart of Injective, we can see that it was around in the past bull run and it did peak at around $22. And after the months of stagnation, we are starting to pick up the steam as we speak. But we will have a video on price prediction for Injective for the next bull run coming this week. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you click the subscribe button now. And if you want to buy Injective or if you want to trade and purchase or maybe you want to leverage trade Injective, you can do so on a centralized exchange that I support, uh, that I use myself when it comes to centralized exchanges, this is my go-to, which is Bybit. And if you wanna sign up to Bybit, you can get up to $5,000 bonus as a sign up when you use the link in the description. So if you wanna use Bybit, make sure you sign up via that link. So Injective has built a very easy to use bridge when it comes to bridging your assets from the likes of Ethereum, and other blockchains as well. You can do it in a very easy fashion at hub.injective.network slash bridge. And this is the go-to way to bridge your assets into Injective blockchain. They also have a native explorer, explorer.injective.network. That takes you to an explorer which is similar to Etherscan for those of you who are familiar with Ethereum. Uh, here you can enter transaction IDs, blockchain IDs or addresses to see transactions take place or maybe you want to check your wallet. So this is the way to do so. Injective also allows people to stake the Injective tokens and the current staking APR 
is just over 16%, which I think is very fair and comparable to other blockchains. And the total staked amount is 34, just shy of 35 million injective tokens, which is around 45% of the entire circulating supply of injective. And you can also use injective blockchain with your MetaMask wallet. So the ease of use here is very appealing to those of you who are familiar with the likes of Ethereum, for example. And also Injective has shared a very interesting infographic lately with a comparison of average transaction fees. So if you have been around crypto for a while, you'd know that Ethereum prices tend to go up very exponentially, especially in the bull run. Therefore, having other solutions like layer twos has been very popular. But the layer twos, which are Optimism or Arbitrum, for example, have also been rising in prices when it comes to transaction fees. And here is where Injective comes in. Their transaction fees are tiny compared to layer twos, compared to Ethereum, obviously, but also other blockchain solutions that are EVM compatible. So Injective is definitely a very appealing solution for both developers and also those who want to build apps and have a lot of people use their apps during bull runs and during periods like we are experiencing right now as well. So Injective is definitely able to hold the load of users at this time. If you want to get the latest on Injective, I do recommend you guys follow them. Uh, they are very active on their Twitter and also share all the relevant news developments from Injective right here on Twitter as they happen. So make sure you guys follow them. And also if you are conducting your own research, Twitter is definitely a great place to start as you'll be able to see a whole feed of news but also you can use their native website, which is injective.com uh, slash press, for example. Here you'll be able to go in depth when it comes to all press releases. They've been featured on a ton of press, but also the website allows you to conduct a thorough research in the about section, which goes over the roadmap for the blockchain itself and also documentation that you can go through when conducting your own research. And as always, everything on the channel is not financial advice. Therefore, if you want to get involved with Injective or anything else that we cover on the channel, then make sure you go about that research. So what do you think about Injective? Is this the next huge layer one in crypto? Is this the blockchain that will explode in the next bull run? Let me know in the comment section below. This is it for today. Stay tuned for the price prediction for Injective, which is coming out this week, and I will see you in the next one.